Well, congratulations. Then, thank you very much. Uh, I told him, like, you know what? I could come back and watch the top eight on Sunday, <laughs> but uh, I think I'll have something to do. Interesting. So I saw Sayonara in the the larger, the more backed up camera. He's, in fact, on a keyboard. Ah. That explains it. Yeah, because I, I knew that Sayonara was a keyboard player in, uh, in TC. Most TC players are on a keyboard. Baseball boy miss drops that uh, JP's there, but Sayonara's at the top of the board. You can see really trying to set up as much combo as he can in this case. Yeah. Baseball boy has a couple of miss drops, but he's working through it well, using some nice spins there, setting up the first part of a TST. Sayonara, I would say, is noticeably at the speed disadvantage here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is going to top him out right there. There you can see the keyboard that he's got. PPT is just really a profoundly speed game. Yes. And I've heard many players discuss, and these are like mostly um, top TEC players, have said that it's kind of ironic that we call um, slow Tetris slow Tetris right. when arguably speed is more important in these games than what we consider to be fast Tetris. That makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, b b besides Tetrio, what are the other fast Tetris games? j is mm -hmm. the biggest one, but um, Tetrio has kind of taken over j in terms of, you know, tournament share. Mm -hmm. so, so, is everything else slow Tetris? Um, yeah, anything that's official mm -hmm. is, um, you know, guideline Tetris. Anything official is going to have that line clear delay. There are certain... Oh, that was a very nice eye spin oh, for a baseball wow. boy. That was pretty. There's the all spins knowledge coming out. Again, that's something you know you do not see in classic. No, <laughs> not even close. Um, but yeah, so the Tetris company does have some guidelines on how to create modern Tetris games, and that is what creates guideline Tetris. And baseball boy is going to find another point here, up 3-0 in this match. Uh, was that was that three or two? Up oh, 3-0. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, and uh, one of the other interesting things that non-official Tetris-like games can have, um, well, yeah, yeah, so, th so they line clear delay is part of guideline. Mm -hmm. One of the other things that Tetrio has that I think is really interesting is 180 spins. Mm. And obviously for, like, eye pieces, they don't matter that much, but um, a 180 spin on a J or an L piece can be super helpful. So, so w one button... Two, the equivalent of two rotations. Yes, and there in, in other games is an entirely unique kick table. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So that's what uh, J Stress and Tetrio provide. That is really interesting. I wouldn't say I use it as like a primary strategy. There are some openers that are dependent on having 180 spins. Mm. Um, it's more so like a tool that I personally use to fix things up, and I feel like a lot of guideline players are kind of in that same boat. But like I said, I, I, I didn't realize how much I relied on wall kicks until I started trying to play classic and oh, yeah. was like, what? How? No! <laughs> Life's not what I thought it was. <laughs> I would say I'm most dependent on a lock-in time. I look like an idiot the moment I try to play classic because I'm just so bad at getting the piece where I need to. <laughs> I mean, I mean lock-in time is certainly you know, a very big, big deal, but you know, at, at the speeds I'm playing at, wall kicks are a bigger deal. Yeah, yeah, I know. I struggle at speed 12, so. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, the the punishment of true random and... Ooh, sorry, I was getting green with that TST setup. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> Oh, that's so nerve-wracking, yeah. Yeah, no, the uh, the difficulty in getting the TPs into that TSC setup is definitely part of the reason why Sayonara lost that round. Uh, baseball boy is uh, coming to a strong lead. Sayonara, uh, you know, I, I, I suppose baseball boy uh, in the middle of a shutout, possibly. Yes. And again, uh, Sayonara is definitely way more known for TEC, so I'm not surprised. Um, but this is... You know, that Baseball Boy has the advantage in this matchup so far. Sayonara really maximizing combo in, in clearing down. Whole bunch of garbage, but there's just... there's It's not stopping. Oh, yeah. It's not 
stopping. Baseball boy just piling it on. Baseball boy finding a, a little bit of greed there. I, I mean, like that though. T spin into the Tetris. Gorgeous. Gotta get that combo damage in while you can. Gotta get that Dono set up as well. I do like that, and that is going to push it over the edge and bring Baseball Boy into match point here. One of the other key differences between TEC and PPT is the opener game. The opener game is way more important in PPT. Um, and so, you know, it's interesting to see the variation in openers that both players have been going for so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the outstanding speed that's happening. Baseball boy on the verge of pitching the no-hitter, shall we say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely interesting to see the overall strategy differing between both players. Baseball Boy definitely being way more confident, way more up stack and greed focused, whereas Sayonara has been largely on the down stack this entire set. So, sort of like, the, you know, the way you talked about the difference between being on the attack and on the defense in TUC. Yes. Yeah. Very, very oh, close. Uh, dude, how, uh, yeah. how much greed can we manage to squeeze out of this? Yeah, I think yeah, Sayonara just did not have the P sequence that he needed right at the top of the board there, and that is going to be a 7 0. I think we are hearing that. Yeah, yeah, they've paused the game. That's uh, th <laughs> all right. So, uh, baseball boy pitching a no hitter and Sayonara <laughs> to Sayonara. Straight <laughs> out of good. the winter semis. Yeah. Yeah. Baseball boy approaching the winners finals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so winners I I'm not sure what we're going to play on stream next because of the overlap with TC. Mm -hmm. We might go directly into winners finals being baseball boy and RJ. Although we might go to Sayonara and John Numbers for top 6 in Puyo Puyo Tetris. All right then. Okay. So then, what whatever happens. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, Lyra, where can people uh, see more of your uh, excellent play and analysis? Uh, should they be in, should they be so interested? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not really super big on Twitter. Um, not enough. a Twitter keep fan. Keep it that way. Um, yeah, I deleted, I deactivated my Twitter so many years ago, and I have never got it. But yeah, I um, I play TC and Tetrio, twitch.tv slash red Lyra red underscore L Y R A. That is in fact my Twitch page. I try to stream three times a week. Um, my Saturday stream, I always stream Connected Versus, which is a very odd niche mode in TEC. It is a three versus one. It is only available on Saturdays. And because of the low player interest, I am in fact top 100. So that's Lyra Red? Uh, red underscore Lyra. Red underscore Lyra. Yes. Well, you might you might very well find me, because I love Connected Versus so very oh, much. Dude, it is, what is your Connected Versus rating? Uh, you know, it's been so long since I've played it, uh, I couldn't actually tell you offhand. Yeah, but yeah, that's fair. I will, I, I, I will 